Hi, how are you today? I am going to do a Dutch pour on this repurposed canvas. I have a lot of burnt umber, so I'm going to be using Pebeo's burnt umber as my base paint. I also have DecoArt's metallic metallics in pearl and 24k gold. And then I also have Folk Arts Treasure Gold in Fire Opal. I haven't been doing very many Dutch pours, so I actually had to go and um, strain out some of this paint. I just wanted to be on the safe side that there wasn't any big clumpy things hanging around. The burnt umber is freshly mixed, however. I like to use different colors for my base paint. A lot of the times I'll use, I'll save my scrapings and use those. And those are one hitters because you're not going to get the same colors or shades when you scrape your entire canvas and mix everything together. So that's kind of fun. But I do have a lot of burnt umber and I thought I'm going to give this a try and see what it looks like. I see a lot of people utilizing different colors, um, grays and pinks and, and purples and blues. And I don't know if I've seen anybody do brown. If, I, if you have, let me know. I'd like to check it out. I'm going to use this color palette. I think it's going to be very lush together. The burnt umber is a beautiful melted chocolate color and the metallics I think are going to create some really nice cell action and of course a nice sheen to everything one of my favorite metallics to use is the Decoart metallics in pearl I find that it creates beautiful cells. The 24 karat does as well, but I'm not a huge fan of that color on its own in a lot of different color combinations. But using this warmer combination, I think it's going to be great all on its own. Quite often I mix the two of them together, the pearl and the gold, just to tone down that really bright gold. To me, it looks brassy. Um, I know a lot of people love it. I think I'm just the odd person out that's not the biggest fan of it. But with this, uh, with this palette, I think it's going to be great. So for me, it definitely does have its place. Now I decide I don't like that sitting on top, so I go back and put a <laughs> another layer of the pearl on because I love the pearl. I had to go find my blow dryer. I had to go find my torch. I even had to go find paper towel because I have not done a painting of a Dutch pour for quite a while, probably since my last video, which I don't even know when that was. But I was not set up to do this, so I'm a little out of practice. Every time I blow out my paint, I think I am going to hold my blow dryer like Canela holds hers by the head of the blow dryer rather than by the handle. And every single time I forget to do that. One of these days I'm going to attempt to remember to hold my blow dryer that way and see if it, see if it makes a difference. I'm sure it will, but I'm in such a habit of doing holding my blow dryer by the handle. I mean, who doesn't hold things by the handle? It's just normal. I'll have to make myself a note and stick it on the wall or something to remind myself. Now I'm looking at this and I'm not liking the left hand side of the painting from your view, the right side from my view. 
there's a lot of blocking, the colors blocked up, it's not blending together. The right, your right hand side is, is nice. I like what it's doing. It's starting to sell up. The colors have blended together a little bit and created some interest. So I do spend quite a bit of time blowing this around and messing with it, which is not my favorite thing to do. It's just a personal preference thing for me. Again, I don't like to blow and scrape and reapply and blow and scrape and reapply and just keep pecking at it relentlessly and just it, it's not an enjoyable process for me I will do some I'm doing quite a bit here and I actually do more even off camera before I finally decide that you know enough is enough and I have to do something other than just pecking away at it like this So I decided to scrape off that half of the canvas. Normally I'm an all or nothing type of person. I'll scrape the entire canvas and collect my paint in a bucket and try another day. But this time I thought, no, I'm going to see if I can make half of it work. It took me a moment to realize, to remember what order I poured the paint in. Good thing I only used a couple colors otherwise, or I would have really been lost. <clears throat> in hindsight, I should have gone in and just with my mouth blown out that little dot, that little transition that's right in the center. It doesn't create a huge problem, but I think in future I'll try to remember to do that just to kind of get those two sections to come together better. I got lucky this time and it, it blew together really nicely and in the end I don't think that I can see that it's half and half that I did a second pour on virtually half of the canvas. Divided it almost <laughs> exactly in half. I'm almost convinced that it is the way that I angle my dryer because I look at my paintings and I quite often do this composition. I call it a dragon, where it, like a Chinese dragon, where it um, flows back and forth. And there's almost always the same spot where I find that the color washes out too much into the background of the, uh, the background paint. And I don't know if I get too close to my paint that first swipe or what I do but there's always one little flower end that seems to be washed out more than the rest of it but I'm aware of it now so I'll be working on a remedy for that so I'm pretty happy with how this second half of the pour is going I am going to leave it for a little bit and come back and look at it in a little while so this is about a half an hour later it the second half this is the second part that I did has sold up beautifully I'm very happy with how it turned out the colors are just lush together the gold is fitting with this palette the fire opal is just maybe a touch too pink for me but I still think it works together nicely because it has that red copper pink hue to it and I think it all just looks really nice and the cells have gone absolutely bananas as usual as it normally does with the deco art paint so I'm pretty happy with it Let's turn you around a little bit just to show you this different orientation and here is the dried result hanging on my wall Thanks for hanging out. Have a good day.